welcome back. Today is day four of my vacation vlog. It's February 2nd and I'm going to be starting out with Invisible and this is by Christina Diaz Gonzalez and Gabriela Epstein. I'll read the synopsis for you. It says there's George the Brain, Sarah the Loner, Deara the Tough Kid, Nico the Rich Kid, and Miguel the Athlete. And they're stuck together when they're forced to complete their school's community service hours. Although they're sure they have nothing in common with one another, some people see them as all the same, just five Spanish-speaking kids. Then they meet someone who truly needs their help, and they must decide whether they are each willing to expose their own secrets to help, or if remaining invisible is the only way to survive middle school. There's a picture of them all in the back. Um, definitely has breakfast club vibes. I mean, a <laughs> group of kids that are all different, they all have kind of labels. Um, people see them all the same. Um, yeah, definitely Breakfast Club vibes, but we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna go have some breakfast now. I finished reading Invisible. I definitely had the Breakfast Club vibes. And he's even mentioned uh, at the very end of the book about the Breakfast Club. Uh, we have these five kids that are um, all Spanish speaking. They're all kind of invisible to everybody else. They're all seen as the, the Spanish speaking groups, the foreign, foreign students. Um, but they're not all from Mexico, as one of the teachers assumes. They all look at each other like, what are you talking about? I'm Cuban, I'm Venezuelan, I'm Puerto Rican. Uh, but they're just seen as like just this label that's been put on them same as um their individual labels the rich kid the loner kid um the trouble maker uh that kind of a thing and they're so much more beneath the surface and that's kind of what this book is about is looking beneath the surface not making assumptions about people uh they make assumptions about each other and it's not just the teachers that do that uh, and as the book opens up, I had kind of thought that they were in some sort of trouble because they're being all questioned about a certain incident that took place. And the story kind of proceeds with each of them telling it from their own perspective. And then the other students kind of hearing the story from that person's perspective and realizing that, you know, they, they really made assumptions about each other, you know. Uh, they all come together um, to kind of help out someone who's in more trouble than they are. Um, and that was a really nice side of the story and 
someone else who was also seen as invisible. And you'll find out more about that as you read the story. But it was very sweet. Uh, I had a little difficulty with the text. Uh, it is combined with the Spanish and the, and the English, so it's it's very nice for either um, readers of either language. But for me, it was, I think it was just the, the size of the prints um, made it a little bit difficult for me. I almost wanted to pull out the magnifier, uh, just these old eyes with the stigmatism here. Uh, that was my main main problem. But the, the illustrations were beautiful. Like I said, it could have could use a little bit larger text for me, but that's just a personal thing. But otherwise, I, I really enjoyed the story. I had a really good message for it. Uh, so right now it is, uh, it's only about two o'clock. Um, sun is shining out there. I know it's not super warm, but it's something like about 34 degrees. Um, the mean temperature, I'm not sure what the uh, wind chill temperature is. I think it's still fairly decent though, considering it's supposed to be um, very, very cold tomorrow. That'll be my hibernation day. <laughs> I ran some errands a little bit earlier this morning, but um, I think I'd, I think I'll get outside and take a little bit of walk maybe listen to my audiobook uh, Elric of Melnibony by uh, Michael Moorcock. I've been listening to that for the past couple of weeks. So um, now that I've been on vacation, I haven't been driving uh, any length of time to listen to it. So I think I'll uh, pop the earbuds in and uh, go for a little walk and get some, uh, get some fresh or frozen air, depending how you look at it. <laughs> Um, wasn't too long. I think I did just a little over a mile, about half an hour. Uh, I couldn't go very fast because it's mostly still like icy out there and I had to walk in the street most of the time. But I think I'm going to go ahead and close out the vlog here. I don't plan on picking up any more of the graphic novels uh, today. I'm going to save the next one uh, for tomorrow, which is the largest one of the bunch. This is uh, Truly Tyler. Um, since I'm going to be pretty much hibernating in the house tomorrow because of the frigid temperatures that we're supposed to get, um, I thought I'd save this big chunker for then. Otherwise, I think I'm just going to maybe just zone out and watch some movie or something. I don't know what yet. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.